All right, so we are here to the third and last episode of the signature pad um, built in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We are already covered in an episode one and two, the HTML and the CSS. And now we just remain to cover the JavaScript side. In the last episode, we styled the elements in the previous one, we created the HTML structure, and now finally we go into the app.js. All right, first of all, let's declare a few constants. Uh, the first one is about the canvas. We want to grab the canvas from document.query selector and our canvas that is in our HTML, which is this one. Then we want to grab the form itself because we're gonna listen to the submit event of the form and then create the image from the canvas. Then the clear button, which is our link that uh, is used to clear out uh, the canvas. And then uh, we're gonna get the context from the canvas. And then we're gonna define a let variable that is gonna change between true or false and uh, is describing the writing mode. For example, when I'm moving my mouse on top of the canvas and the writing mode is on, then I'm gonna draw. If the writing mode is off, I'm not gonna draw anything. So that's what the variable is for. And uh, let's start to create uh, some uh, uh, listeners and so let's listen for the submit uh, event of the form in this case we want to prevent the default behavior of the browser because we actually don't want to send we don't want to reload the page and we don't want to uh, send anything to the server yet but we want to create the image so from that we can create the image url by using canvas.2 data url then we create uh, an image node by using document.create element image and then we set the SRC, the height, the width, and then we do jump style display block because in case we submit multiple times, I want just to display the image one after the other. And as last, we want to clear the pad and remove what is being drawn until now. Now, on your side, you can go even further and just send the image to the server and store it somewhere. Now that we have ready, we just called the clear pad, I can just show the implementation is going to get the context of the canvas, clear red from the coordinate 00, 0 up to the canvas width and canvas height. So very simple. And the clear button is also doing the same thing, calling the clear pad and uh, preventing the default because also this is a link and so we don't want to navigate anywhere. All right. Then uh, we're gonna go to the juice of the functionality that is gonna be the um, listeners for the pointer down, pointer up, and pointer move. Each one of those have an handler function that is gonna execute when those events are firing. And also we are passing a little hash with the property passive true because uh, in all of those, we don't want to ever call event.prevent default. And so by passing passive true, we're gonna boost a little bit the performance and the browser know that we're not gonna call prevent default. Starting from the pointer down, here we're gonna see that we want to just set the writing mode as true. We want to begin the path in our context for the canvas. Then we want to get the position of our cursor relation with the target element, which is the canvas, store it in a position X and Y variables, and then move our context to that coordinates. Um, just a little setup before the listener, we want just to have uh, uh, the line width as three in the context and a line join equals to line cap even equal to round because we want that round tip when we draw. And then uh, we're gonna pass to the pointer up event. The pointer up event is going to do just a simple writing mode equal false so that we are disabling uh, the writing mode. And then uh, for the pointer move, uh, here things are getting interesting and it's gonna be pretty simple as well. You just need to uh, return in case the writing mode is off, right? Otherwise, we're just gonna get uh, again the cursor position based on the target uh, and then create uh, from the context a line to the X and Y position and then call the CTX stroke to fill the line. 
This is gonna make sure that uh, from the last point where we were painting before to the new one is gonna be created a line. Why we're not creating uh, different uh, points? Um, because uh, basically the frame rate of the screen is 60 frames per second. And so if you just uh, create a new lines uh, and not connecting the line one each other, you're gonna have uh, the little dots from a line to another that is not very smooth for signatures. That is an effect that you can create if you want, but uh, I suggest uh, this one instead. Cool, the final result uh, is this one, as you saw in the initial video, where you can sign, you can clear, you can sign again, and you can submit uh, your signature. Uh, same uh, uh, you can do for mobile devices, uh, where you can sign, you can clear, and then uh, you can submit your signature as well. That was it for today. I hope that this mini-series was really fun. Let me know in the comments if you have questions, and I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, have a nice day and happy coding!